Hi, welcome to the Jenkins tutorial part 4. Uh, my name is Sanashrekar Reddy. Here I am going to show how to create the nodes in Jenkins. So to create the nodes, you need to click on go to manage Jenkins. Then scroll down the page. You will get an option manage nodes. Click on it. Then go to create, uh, then use the option new node to create the node. By default, the master will come. And the build uh, here, I am going to use a build machine as my known name. Then click on OK. Then click on OK. Now it will allow you to, it will take you into the configuration page. So for that, now here about your about description of your node, why we are creating this node. Next number of executor by default the master will have the two executors right and as well as if you want to uh, if you want to more need more executor to perform more build operations in the node you need to provide the executors right so in this case I am also using two executors for this node and the remote root directory remote root directory is nothing but a directory which is used to uh, store all the configuration of that uh, Jenkins node as well as the workspace. So, if you are coming to the Jenkins room, for example, in this one, when you are installing the Jenkins, we will uh, configure the directory with the Jenkins home envir environment variable. So, in that directory, you will have all the data, all the configuration, jobs and nodes, plugins, and everything config.xml everything is stored in the Jenkins home directory right for this master and if you created a slave or nose in Jenkins so that should be have some area to store all the configurations about the jobs and job uh, art project artifacts and all configurations like that so for that you need to provide a directory where to store all the data in Jenkins of that node Next, I am giving the var slash Jenkins as a directory to store all the data. So I have created a directory. So this is an empty directory, right? So I have created a directory inside the var directory of the system, Unix system, and I have given that uh, directory path here. And then next, label name. So label name is nothing but a name which is used while configuring the jobs. So I am giving the uh, I am giving the label build machine Unix. Then uh, usage in the usage you will have two options. So first one is better and the launching method. So you will have the four types of launching methods. So uh, Windows service and web start can be useful while performing the builds on Windows systems. And SSH can be used um, in the Unix missions. Here, your remote host name or remote host IP address. If you are performing the uh, builds in the remote system, not in the local. If you are performing it on remote, then you need to provide the remote host, host name or IP address like this. So, in this case, I am using local host. So, if you want to launch this node using SSH. We need to have the SSH keys or the SSH username and password, right? So you need to configure it. Just add the credentials. So username is root, and then you need to provide the password. And the description is to SSH root credentials. So here I have added that username and password to authenticate the SSH protocol. And then next to availability. Availability in the availability always should be in online. Okay, then only you can perform the payments. Or else you can uh, uh, make it online when you have the build schedules. In, according to the build schedule, it will be launched. Then next to so it can be it it can be brings you the on brings you the online whenever. Uh, it is required so first one is better to use and then node properties in the node properties section you have the node environment variables and result and as well as the tool locations in the tool locations area you can you have to add the java so 
here I am going to perform the Java builds. Actually, to perform the Java builds, we need not to create the slaves and all master slave concept because it's not a distributed build, right? So it's a simply build. It's a web application. So you need to provide the Java home. Then here I am using the ant as a build tool. So for that, we need to add the ant home also. So this will automatically come if you are configured the manage engine section. Now then click on the save. Now the machine will be listed here. If you click on the build machine, so automatically it will uh, if you, everything is goes well, then automatically this will be in the, in the online mode. If you want to turn off or it make if you want to make it temporarily offline. Then you need to set it and it will ask for some description why you are going to make it is online and you can disconnect completely by providing the description also. Now we have created the node right and this is in online. So how you will come to know means automatically whenever click on the save button, this page will come and you will get an option to launch the slave. If you click on that automatically you will get an console output to execute this one or so far in the open, SS connection is opening and authentication is successful via your username and password. Then remote user's environment is uh, completed. Then automatically it performed all the operations and it will find the Java version and as well as and and all. Now the jar file, the dot slave dot jar file will be created and it will be in the execution mode, right? So automatically you got this file here. So this file can be called by using the Java command. So that's why that's the reason only we have configured the Java in the node section. Now this machine is connected, slave is successfully connected and it is in online mode. Now you can execute the jobs in this slave. So go to the Jenkins, just create uh, some demo and then click on OK. Now job is created. So in this section you will have you will find the restrict where this project can be run. So in this area you check and check this option and you will have the so build machine units. So this is the label name. Whatever the label name we have given while configuring the nodes, that name should be used here to perform the builds. If you have a multiple build machines and you want to run a single job on multiple or uh, remote uh, multiple slaves at a time you can uh, give the multiple names uh, by separating it by using the common symbol and as well as here i am going to use uh, scm as a key already we have know how to use it so here we have a here and you can add the uh, https so it, does, it won't ask for the username and password because already username is there and to check out because my repository is the public repository it won't ask for the credentials right? and then build in the build step I am just simply invoking the AND so AND version AND 1.9.4 and targets that I am calling all so click on the save then click on build now option Automatically, this build will be executed under the slave machine, right? So, whenever you click on the build, you will get the workspace, right? So, in the workspace area, all jobs will be stored, right? So, ls. So, demo project. If you do the demo, then code is uh, checked out from the git repository, and as well as the build is succeeded here. Just to click on it. You go to the console output first, it will check out all the code from the source code management tools and it will perform it will like start expose the build.xml file that are there in the directory and it will perform the all targets or all means all the targets that are there inside the hand script. So, finally, the artifact is created. So, using the jar task, we have created the war file. So, in the previous sections, also we have discussed it. But the difference is we have executed this build into the 
remote machine, remote slave, right? So if you go to this build machine, so in the build machine, we have performed this demo, right? So for that reason only, we got all these files here. So this is the master slave concept and how to create the nodes and export the jobs in slave machines. So actually basically this will be used whenever you are having C, C++ like, like application because uh, if you are using the Java web based application you need not to worry about the master and slave concept because uh, C++, C++ application you need to uh, compile on a plot mode specific like if you are want to build an application C application for a windows you need to build it on we need to compile it on windows machine only and if you uh, that is uh, creating for a Unix machine, then you need to perform that on Unix only. So it will differ to OS to OS, right? So in that case, we will use the in the case of distributed builds, the Jenkins will use the master and slave concept. Thank you. Have a nice.